Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop editing video. This time we will be focusing on a wildlife shot from Norway. As you can see in the before version, it's very, very bright. I want to change that and apply a very dark look on this. But without much more talking, let's go. So first off, let me just change the profile real quick to Adobe Standard to lessen the contrast, just so I have more control over it myself. Then let's head into the basic panel and adjust the white balance. Looking at the image right now, you can see it's a little more on the colder side. I do want to change that and bring up the temperature. So I don't want to overdo it, but I want to have some more natural colors in here. So that's looking like a good spot. I'm not going to change the tint because I think that looks good. Now let's adjust the brightness. It is way too bright for my taste, so I'm going to decrease the exposure first. I'm going to drop it quite a bit, actually. And I also want to further drop the contrast. I do want to have a softer looking image, so that will help. Then let's bring down the shadows a notch. Just like that. And to not lose too much brightness, I'm going to introduce some whites. And while we're at it, let's also try and decrease the blacks. So contrast rise, this looks really good already. Then I do want to add a little bit of texture to the shot. And at the same time, I want to drop the clarity just a bit like this. And I might as well drop the dehaze for an even softer look. Right about here looks good. Finally, let's bring up the vibrance because I want to have some colors in here. Perfect. Now let's compare to before real quick. You can see the brightness adjustments were very well needed. And also the colors do look much better. So let's work on bringing out that subject a little more. By the way, for that same reason, I already have cropped the image. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, but you can see I just made the subject a little bigger by cropping. But let's take a look at the local adjustments. First of all, I want to work on everything except the subject. For this reason, I'm going to use a linear gradient outside of this image. So everything is covered here. Come on now, just like that. And now I'm going to subtract select subject. Photoshop shouldn't have a big problem subtracting the subject here. There are some areas which are still affected. So let's just say subject brush. And I just want to brush over our animal right there. Should be good enough. Now with this mask, I am going to bring down the exposure. And I'm also going to bring down the saturation. And I do want to bring up the temperature just to get rid of those blue tones in here. Okay, that's looking good. Next up, I do want to work on the subject itself. So let's create a new mask and say select subject. Again, Photoshop is doing an okay job here, but I still want to add a few parts here. So I'm going to add a brush and just brush over that left side of the wolf. That's looking pretty good. And I want to make this a lot sharper. So I'm going to add texture as well as some clarity. And I'm also going to increase the whites, making it a little brighter. Finally, I do want to change the background. So I'm going with another linear gradient outside of the image. And I'm going to subtract the subject again, but I'm also subtracting with the brush the very near foreground and that tree on the right side as well. Okay, and here is a little bit which I need to remove and over the ear. But that is looking good. So now in here, let's bring down the texture all the way. And I'm also bringing down the clarity quite a bit to get a very smooth background. I could even drop the dehaze some more, but that looks really, really good. All right, I think that's it for the local adjustments. Let's compare to before 
we do have much more attention on the subject now. The background is way less chaotic due to the reduced texture. So let's do a little bit of color grading. I'm starting in the color mixer, first with the hue. Here I do want to drop the yellow hue, just to give this wolf a different color. I know it's a little bit of over the top manipulation, but I think it's okay. Then I also want to drop the purple hue, getting rid of any purple color cast in those blue tones in the snow. Just like that. And then let's head into the saturation stuff. Here I want to drop the yellow saturation and maybe even the blue saturation. Okay, finally I'm going into the luminance tab. Here I just want to boost the blue luminance, giving us some more brightness, especially in the snow. All right, then let's head into the split toning. Here I just want to work on the midtones and I do want to give them a warmer color tone somewhere in the yellow range and let's bring up the saturation just a bit. Okay, finally in the calibration tab all the way down, I'm going to drop the blue primary hue and here I'm going to increase the saturation again. That works really, really well on those colors. Nice. Finally, I do want to head into the details tab and apply a little bit of sharpening, drop the radius, increase the detail, apply some masking, of course, and add a bit of sharpening. And that's it for the raw adjustments. Now I do want to clean up the shot, so I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Okay, first off, what really, really annoys me is I was shooting this image through a fence. You can see it a little bit covering his right eye. I need to do some more manipulation. Therefore I'm using the clone stem tool and I'm holding down the alt key over his good eye and click in here once to copy this area. Then I'm creating a new layer and with the clone stem tool active I'm painting back in the eye on the other side. Just like that. Of course, this looks super weird now, so let's hit Ctrl T and just flip it horizontally. Perfect. Now I'm going to align this eye, so let's just drop the opacity of that layer. And I'm going to match both eyes this way. And now this should look pretty natural. See? That works really, really good. And thus we fix the eyes. Let's merge those two layers and now let's keep cleaning this shot. Alright, I think that's looking good. I don't want to make it too obvious I changed the image here. So next up, let's check the histogram real quick. I do think I want to brighten up the subject some more, so I want to try and apply a new layer, switch the blending mode to overlay, grab the brush tool and make sure the opacity is rather low, and then with a white brush I'm going to paint over his face a little bit. Maybe that was too much already, so let's drop the opacity here and maybe play around with the eyes. All right. Then again, I'm merging those two layers and for the final step, I'm going to check the Nick Collection plugin. First off, I do want to give the polarization effect a try. I'm not sure if this will work on the shot. I guess this looks rather strange, so let's not use it. Maybe the Pro Contrast, however, with a little bit of dynamic contrast. Let's actually try it like this. So the subject does look really, really good, but I don't like what it's doing to the background. So I'm going to add the layer mask, use a black brush and just brush around the subject to reduce the contrast again around it. Just like that. We don't need that much contrast around here. Okay, that's looking super cool. I'm quite satisfied with this shot. If you have any questions about the editing, let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.